So what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. We're doing something a little bit different because we got a brand new camo, we got some cool quartermaster stuff, some I think it was like 12 weapon variants, 18 camos and customization things and all that. But today with this one, we're not covering any of that, we're going to be covering something instead, which is a camo you can actually buy and it is actually something that is not RNG luck based. So you can get it straight up, it's in the store, and we'll showcase this here a little bit in the gameplay, but it's something that is absolutely fantastic, I think. It's the Code Courage Pack for the Call of Duty Endowment, and uh, I, I'm a full believer in what they do here with this, and we'll go ahead and purchase the pack and we'll talk about it in just a split second, but uh, let's, let's buy this bad boy. Any day now, PSN, any day. Uh, one minute later, still loading on PSN. Not even getting loading squares now. Cool. Why is it taking so long? What is going on? It's been two minutes. Like, not exaggerating. Like, I have been looking at a black screen for two minutes hoping that it's gonna happen, but no. Okay, we're gonna restart the game. Where's restart app? What is going on? There it is. Finally. I think I have like two cents now in my wallet because it auto added five. Five dollars. All right, so we should be able to have this right now in terms of, there it is, the Code Warrior camo, and that looks pretty cool, I think. It's something that, some people were kind of mixed. They were, they love it, they hate it. Some people thought it was like, oh man, that looks like it was made in paint, or like, oh, this actually looks pretty cool. I like the, the more matte feel to it, whereas like this, it kind of is too chromatic, I think, with it. Um, weapons like the uh, the Jackal Urban I'm a fan of, it's, it's just matte it's nice it fits the texture of the weapon same with the hellstorm i like that too as well so the code camo fits that design aspect so we're gonna pop this on we're gonna go in uh maybe play some uh, we'll play we'll play like a, a tdm or free for all i don't know just to get a little little grasp on what we uh what we can accomplish here with this and take a look at it in game check it out a little bit then we'll go maybe into a private match and inspect a little bit more Yo, I thought that Clint, I thought that PSN ID was the straight up OG Saturday Night Live. That actually was almost super cool, but it wasn't, so it's not not cool. All right, so this is what it looks like now. Here, we'll, we'll just go over here real quick. Might die, but it's okay. So this is what it looks like on the NV4. NV4 is probably one of the weapons that I think has the best uh, for camo, um, be able to display camos. The, the canvas is pretty much the whole... Oh, okay, lucky. I played too much hardcore. That would have that would have been an easy kill in hardcore. Woo! Yeah, I'm, I'm too used to hardcore. What is going on? No. Oh, I don't know if that enemy's still there or not. Um, I haven't played in like a week, so cut me some slack if the gameplay is not the best, but I mean Two nice little double kills there. Uh, that's not too hot or not too bad Nope mm. So I'm liking the overall look of the camo once again It's not anything necessarily as, as a, a feel type thing to it like it just feels like a normal not anything that takes away too much from the gameplay experience because it's too flashy or anything. And I like that. I like that. Thank you. I don't think that I've gotten a single a single kill this game. I think they've all been doubles. And I'm okay with that. Hello, what's up, dude? He's got- they're pushing. Dude, they're spawn. My only concern is- yeah, that- they were gonna flank that side. Because whenever you get to that point in the- in the map, you can't tell if they're coming from the mid, the right side, or the left side. It all kind of just, like, is one giant choke point, and it pushes all together. So, um... That's the only concern with that. I'm liking this camo though. It, it just it just looks nice. I am a fan. I'm glad I spent the five bucks. So that said, it is five bucks, but it is something that 
it might be a little hefty in terms of uh, camos. Once again, I like. I think it's nice to be able to buy camos. Firstly, but the five bucks, I am. I'm. Not, I don't have a problem with because it is. Uh, it is something that it goes to a great cause. For those of you guys that don't know what the Call of Duty endowment is, um, it is. It's. It's a way for Activision to support veterans and uh, and returning troops after their deployments, after their their active time in combat, and uh, it helps them get into job placements. So that's one of the things that in America right now there is a lot going on in terms of um, soldiers after after their time in deployment, and it really gets tough for a lot of them to uh, to to get in jobs and, and have a stable stable position. There's the guys behind me. Nice try. Um, and and when you think about it, that's that's something that's really messed up because like these per these people uh, will, will serve their nation, serve for the freedoms and all that kind of stuff that that, that we think of as as Americans in other countries too. Um, but it, it's something that they do this, and when they get back home, it's just so much tougher for them to to just rejoin everyday life, and it's. It's a really nice cause that it goes out to, to be able to help these people get back into a daily routine and get back into something that is just normal again to them for something that a lot of people, including myself, don't believe there should be any sort of issue with veterans returning to jobs. If they're putting their life on the line, at least they should be able to get as a job again. So it's, it's nice to be able to see there's job placement services going out like that. I'm going to challenge this to get really stupid. So, so it's awesome to see that happen, and, and I'm a I'm a huge supporter of that cause. And definitely, if you guys like the look of this camo, definitely I say go I say go for it. Oh, that's some garbage. She ate so much. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a warden here. That's all I want this game. We're going off though for first game in like a week. I will take this. No doubt. There's a guy right around the corner here. There was. Oh, there he is. Yo, we're going off right now, though. We got 31 kills. There's 58 kills total. We have over 50% of our team's kills. What is what is happening? Why is my team non-existent? Why does this... This Scarab always gets me. HCXD, RCXD, no matter what game it is, it always comes for me. It is, it is no question. All right, so we kind of went downhill there a little bit, um, and we still have half my team's kills. Why? Why is this a thing? I love reactive armor. It is so OP, but I love it. How is he not that? What? What are you saying right now? All right, let's see if we can drop the, the hot 50. Let's see if we can drop the hot 50 with the new code camo. It'd be a game plan itself, boys. Oh, there's so many. Oh, that's where I needed my reactive armor. <laughs> All right, so we got six kills, 18 more kills to win the game. I think it's possible. I think we can pull this off. Drop the 50 first day of... Uh, First day of the code camo being out. I think that'd be cool. 50 kill TDM challenge. Not the 70, but you know. Yeah, if, if I would have had lethals, we totally would have gotten the 70, per, uh, 70 kill challenge done already. No, don't let me waste this. Don't let me... Oh, we already dropped the 50, baby. Let's go. Oh, hello. What are those bullets? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know how that didn't... I don't know how that none of those got those those connected though. Wow. Wow. That really surprises me to be honest. Dude, I was gonna say, if that dude didn't see me, he's blind. No! 
Oh, that would have been a sick little ending to that. All right, so we got it. 56 kills in one TDM. What is going, like, this is my, this is my life in TDM whenever I play this game. I don't get 56 kills. That I, Granted, that's something that is actually, like, relatively new to this, this gameplay. But I'll usually get, like, 40 kills, 10 deaths, or something like that. And the rest of my team will be negative like they are. So, I can't believe we just pulled 56 kills first game on in, like, a week. Uh, and, and that is no exaggeration at all. And, um, with the new Code Warrior pack, too, that's that makes it even, even more juicier. SEO, we're taking this to the next level, man. I'm gonna get all those search results. Not really. <laughs> but yeah, that is that is the uh, the code camo. Just want to pop it on here for... Um, let's go to a, a custom game real quick just to show it off a little bit more. Okay, so unlike some of the other camos, it does not appear like this one is animated in any way, shape, or form. It's got a cool little, little uh, multi-level texture if you look real closely at it. Like, the red is, uh, is like almost a paint layer, and the blue is supposed to be the base, which is really cool, I think. I, I like... I like how that turns out. Like you can, you might be able to see it here with the the light on it. Um, it's got a base texture to it, and then the uh, the red is almost like a, a paint chip effect to it. I think it's really cool. Once again, the uh, the Call of Duty endowment is is something that helps veterans with job placements after they they get out of the service and after they serve their time uh, on their tours, their whatever whatever they're enlisted for, whatever they're currently. Uh, up on the table to to serve for and like i said it's something that believe it or not is a, a a very big problem for people coming back it's it's something that when you think about people serving their country it's it's not something you usually think you think that it'd be easier for them to get job not i don't want to say easier as in like than more than somebody else but something that they'd be able to jump back into everyday life rather quickly and rather easily but it's not the that's not the uh the case there and um to, to, to see Call of Duty make an effort where every single little bit of these proceeds, and it's not something where it's like where some people can criticize uh, like supply drops or anything like that, where the, the, the money goes right into Activision's um, budget for Call of Duty, where they can use those, that do those dollars anywhere they want. Every single bit of the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds from the Call of Duty endowment pack goes to the veterans uh, that the, the, the service provides for. It 100% so that five dollars that you spend to buy this camo and I'm not doing this as like a, a Product placement or anything like that. I'm just doing this video to showcase new camos because I love new camos Firstly, I love the idea of idea of being able to buy camos as micro DLC and I love the idea of the uh, I Love the idea of the, the endowment so it's it's definitely something that all those factors work out really nicely and um, I, I feel I feel humbled to be a part of being able to share this to maybe help that cause grow a little bit further. So it's five bucks on PSN, Xbox One, PC, anywhere in game. It is from oh I didn't put it on this one. Whoops. Um, it is anywhere that you have access to the Call of Duty store. It is going to be available there. So that I think is we're going to wrap it up here with this one. And um, that has been the that has been the Code Warriors uh, Code Courage pack rather um, for the brand new camo. And a uh, little showcase of it here once again, just something a little bit different. I want to mix it up a little bit rather than just do straight up a, a, a video of multiple weapons spinning in circles. I figured I'd give you guys some hands-on gameplay and, and some actual in-game application here of it. So I figured it'd be cool. So that said, if you guys endo enjoyed, if you do enjoy, if you I, I messed up my words there. Uh, drop a like down below and of course if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to pick this up once again It is available on PSN uh, Xbox and Steam Wherever you have access to infinite warfare it is in the store and it's under the miscellaneous tab for Call of Duty's store So that said it's five bucks if you guys want to contribute to the cause 100% of the proceeds goes to the Call of Duty endowment and helping veterans get placements in their jobs after they come home from their services. So that said, any veterans that may be watching this, thank you for your service. It really is greatly appreciated. And um, this is a great cause. I definitely think if you guys have the money to spare and you want a cool camo, this is a great way to do so. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mazda Nicola Espresso. See you guys later. Take care and peace.